Hello again, YouTube. This is Dr. David Howard Jr. I'm trying to shorten up some of these broadcasts due to the short attention fans. People watch them more often when the broadcast is short. This subject I would like to call the evidence of a faith person. You've got a lot of people saying they're saved. But the Messiah said by their fruits, they you will know them. By their fruits, by their desires, and by their righteous stand in this world. You're not going to see scandal after scandal after scandal with a person who's been washed on the inside by the Spirit of the Most High. I want to start off by going to Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. It says, Beware of false prophets will come to you in sheep's clothing, but they will be there in the wood. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit, good fruit, but a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that brings not forth good fruit is hung down and cast into the fire, wherefore by their fruit you shall know them. Now, fruit takes time to grow. It's a process. So don't think that if a person does one bad thing, that they're not safe. What it means is, as over time, you're going to see that person develop and produce righteousness, produce salvation, produce the work of the kingdom of the Most High. you got all these pagans in the world talking about how saved they are, but then they, they mix faith, they mix paganism in, and they don't keep the scriptural faith of the, of the Bible. And that's what I'm going to be talking about on YouTube and on blog talk and from now on. So people can get the true faith so you won't mess around and find yourself bowing down to the Antichrist because you have nothing on the inside but pride. Now, now if you look at John chapter 15, verse 1 and 2, he said, I am the vine and the father is the husband. Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that bears fruit, what he's talking about, he tolerates the character when you allow him to, to watch you, like I'm saying. That's called bearing fruit. He purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. In other words, all the wickedness, all the foolishness in this world that sometimes we end up tangled up in, when you truly have come to faith and truly have been saved by the Most High, what He does is He don't cut that stuff off. He don't cut people out of your life. He don't cut it. He don't change your attitude and your mind because He's gonna be speaking to you from the inside, and your spirit is gonna be responding positively because you have been changed. But if you're just a person that goes to church, and let's say you're a Catholic pope, Catholic priest, or you're one of these little gay pastors or little adulterous pastors, you will go to church, but ain't nothing gonna be happening. People gonna be hearing about all this wickedness that you're doing over time but they're not going to be seeing the righteousness that the Most High does within a person and changes their life. That's the evidence of a saved person. A saved person is going to be developing into those characteristics of, of the Spirit. And I want to get into those a little bit. Now, Titus chapter 2, the Most High sent forth his Messiah so that he can redeem us from all inequity through him. Titus 2 and 14 says that he might redeem us from all inequity. In other words, if you truly a man of the most high, I don't care about your little white cloth. This is what's going to happen in your life. You're going to go from being a fat or an homosexual, whatever you want to call it, to being a man that, that either you have sex with women or you don't have sex. And if you're a woman, either you have a married man or you don't have sex. See, there's no reason. If you say you're going to be strong, because the scripture says that the spirit is made perfect and weak. So now it's just time up. All of you say is you need to step off to the side. Because there's too many souls at stake for you to be just like them. And to be in the way. We need your airtime on TV. We need your airtime on the radio. If you want to be a homosexual, if you want to play little devil's game because you're not truly safe, find another way to make your money. 